it's Sunday afternoon and I woke up with a cold today, so I decided since I don't feel like going anywhere, it's a great time to go ahead and do a project I've been thinking about for a while. I'm making a sewing machine pad so that my sewing machine will sit on it and I'm going to have a pocket in the front. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and measured the table, how long the table is, and then I've added in how long I want my pocket to be according to what tools I want in there. I've picked a fabric and then I've gone and done the same thing with a contrasting fabric so that I have two squares that are the same size and shape. What I'm currently doing now is I've got some fusible fleece here underneath the um, one of the pieces of fabric and I'm ironing it to the wrong side of the fabric and I'm going to show you how I go ahead and do that. So I place the fabric on top nice and gently and when I cut that just so you know I cut the fusible fleece so that I have a little bit of a seam allowance so that I don't get so much bulk in that seam when I go ahead and um, make my top stitch across it so I've got my original fabric down on the um, fusible fleece and then I'm going to take a bottle with just some water in it and I'm just going to lightly spritz the fabric just to create a little additional steam I have my iron and it's set on the wool setting and I'm just going to go ahead and press it down for about uh, 7 to 10 seconds on each of those spots to fuse the fleece to my fabric and I'm just going to do that across the whole fabric and I don't want to slide it across I just want to lift and then put it down and then lift and put it down so that the fusible fleece isn't moving and stretching around underneath my fabric so my fusible fleece is, uh, is attached and while it's kind of cooling down a little bit I've gone ahead and ironed down a hem on the two pieces of fabric I'm going to use for my pockets. I'm going to go ahead and sew a seam on what's going to be the top of my pocket. Make sure you back the stitch. Okay, so both my pockets are done, and if you've noticed, the seam I've used is just a straight stitch, and I've used a contrasting color as well. Um, I didn't feel like going out to the store today, obviously, so I didn't get any um, coordinating color that was teal, and I had some gray in my box, and there's gray in the pattern, so it'll work. I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to sew the whole piece together. So I've just laid the pocket on the right side of the fabric as it's going to look. And then I'm going to put the second pocket, because this is going to be a reversible sewing pad, I'm going to put this one wrong side down. And then place the final piece of fabric on top. But this one has no right or wrong side, so I'm just going to lay it on. Line it up. And what's going to happen is there's going to end up being a little bit of a sandwich here. So I'm going to have one piece of the pad. I'm going to have a pocket. I'm going to have the second pocket, the last piece of the pad, and the fusible fleece. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch this up all the way around the edge, leaving a small a section open so that I can turn it. And I sort of learned my lesson about not pinning things, so I'm going to go ahead and put a few pins in this and then go to the sewing machine. So I've turned my project over so that I can see where the edge of my fleece is and I've pinned it and I've also discovered this is probably a better camera angle. So I'm ready to start sewing. Let's cross our fingers here. This is actually my first project I've ever done without a pattern. So today I'm trying to be brave. Come up with this out of my head here. So let's give this a go. what happens when you pin the wrong direction. Look how awkward this is to get the pin out in that way. So I guess I didn't pay attention too well there. I'm coming up to the opening here where I want to stop. And the back stitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and clip the corners pretty close to the seam without actually hitting the seam and then I'm going to trim some of this fabric away to reduce the bulk so that when I turn it I don't get as much um, rollover in the seam here. That is done. 
and you should now have a piece that looks like this. And it's depending on whatever your dimension is. Yours might look more like a rectangle, or um, mine just happens to be a square. That's about what I measured out for my space. I'm going to go ahead and find the opening. And I want to do it where the right sides of the fabric are. You don't want to pull up your fusible fleece like I started to do on accident. And I'm just going to start turning this inside out. When you get to your corners, try to push them out as much as possible. Okay, so I've got it turned around and I used a point turner to make sure all the points were in. And you might be thinking, oh no, where's the other pocket? It's actually perfectly fine. This is how it's supposed to kind of turn out because you have to actually turn your pocket just like that. And then you'll have your two pockets. And actually my pocket's not really um, deep. I did it that way on purpose because most of what I want to be putting in are pretty shallow tools and I don't want to be digging in for them. I want to be able to just scoop them out right away. So that's good on that one. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and fold in that seam where you use, where you left that open space to turn everything. I'm actually going to fold it and then press it a little bit. And then we're going to go to the machine and top stitch all the way around. Okay, so I'm already pressed and I'm ready to sew. And I'm going to start way down here on this corner of the pocket where you're not going to really notice the starting stitch too much. And I'm just going to take my time and I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, I guess you could do whatever you choose, but that's what I'm going to stick with. So I'm going to give it a few stitches, back stitch, and then take my time and go. Last thing, of course, is decide where you want your pocket lines at. What I did is I went ahead and sat this underneath my sewing machine, and then sitting at the machine decided about where would be the best thing to put here and where would be the best places to grab them from. And then I went ahead and marked my lines and then I mirrored the same length on the other side so when I flip it, these things could go on either side and be in the same spot either way. So there we have it, no frills, easy. Uh, my very first no pattern project actually. And here you can see I have the other side as well so whatever kind of mood I'm in. I have options. So we're going to go ahead and put this under the sewing machine and see how it looks. There we have it. The size and measurements work out perfect for my machine. The small things that I need are handy right there in front of me where I can get to it. And I love that it's reversible so I can change it depending on what I want to put up. So there you go. Here's just a quick look at the other side.